by the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkin Wieswa and I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. And yes, I try to have my name in the screen now from, uh, from now on because I did quite get some comments about the name, about my name. The people couldn't quite understand it, which I uh, get because it's a Frisian name. And so if you're not from Frisia, you uh, probably will not understand the name completely, uh, especially the first part, Ilke. Uh, once you get it, it's not that hard, I think, but uh, I'm going to uh, put it in so people can, uh, can use it in the comments uh, if they like. So that's uh, said and done. Uh, we're going to uh, repot today, of, or basically up at this Masdevelia. And from time to time I do get comments on if uh, plants are in spike, if uh, are in bloom, and I still repot them. Uh, that's only if it's a new orchid, it's because I think it needs a repot because the media is so bad or I saw bush nails in it. So I don't basically have a choice and I need to repot it. If I do it with plants that I already have, like this one, uh, I'm still going to uh, repot them uh, because I grow them uh, with inorganic media. So I don't have to mess up uh, the root system basically as marks where uh, 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 if I, uh, as I would do if I grow them in, in a organic media like bark or moss or something. So that's why I just repot them. Most of the times it just continues to bloom. If this one stops blooming uh, and the bud will not completely make it, it's okay because I need to repot it. She will bloom again. Uh, I think she did before, so she probably will be fine. But yeah, this one is on the list and you will see it in a minute why. Uh, this is this is a Masdevelia which has very dark leaves. I tried uh, different things. I thought maybe it uh, this doesn't get as much light as it needs, but I it, the the leaves doesn't do not change even though I give it a, give it a little bit too much light. I think in last summer uh, they didn't grow so well, but still the leaves kept uh, coming out uh, fairly dark. Uh, it's called Masdevelia black velvet, so. Uh, maybe because there, it, it has these uh, purplish blooms that thereby the leaves do not uh, get as a light color because the blooms are fairly dark. I'm not sure. But anyhow, let's, uh, get, let's get her out of the pot and have a look. I, uh, I think I'm going doing a little bit better with my Masdevelias, but this is the best one. This is the biggest one. But I'm not a, a, a uh, good grower yet with Masdevelias, <laughs> to be honest. But I try my best and I think they do better. But anyhow, uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Just a second, please. <laughs> yeah, I do think this is a little bit better. So you can see what is going on. And uh, yeah, I did quite, quite a few uh, up-potting and uh, re-pottings last couple of weeks, actually. But there are a lot of people who are comment that they like them and that I hope I don't uh, quit making them. Obviously, I never will quit making them, or never. Just never say never, of course. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't my plan, but I was a little bit um, unsure about the, the amount of repottings because, yeah. But luckily, like I said, people like them, so I uh, keep continuing making them. And I thought this one is quite interesting, but you can probably see this one is really outgrown its pot. We have even some roots here on the uh, side of the pot, as you can see. So for Marsdevelia, that's not bad. And we have beautiful roots in the pot, growing root tips. So, so far, like I said, I, I think I'm doing better with them. But yeah, we have quite a nice roots there. But like I said, I think uh, I couldn't do better uh, even a bit better with with uh, with them still, but yeah, I, like you uh, see here on the edge of the pot, we have quite a lot of new growths that are really touching or even pushing towards towards that uh, uh, the pot. So let me get the tag out first. Oh, there's a root behind it. Shoot. Um. Maybe, yeah, I'm going to take the planter. And yes, it's Saramas. <laughs> it's Saramas. Oh, that's long, uh, a long time ago. This was uh, uh, 2020. And it was in October. So two and a half years ago. I just tried the Saramas for my Masdevelias because I saw uh, the Orchid Room. Uh, Annabelle from the Orchid Room did uh, grow them in Saramas as well. And they did really uh, well for her. So therefore I tried the Saramas. 
it's okay, but I'm not going to use it again. I may reuse it, this media, which is here, but then I uh, will fill it up with the smaller pumice. But uh, yeah, ceramics, ceramics. I'm gently uh, squeezing the pot just to get it a little bit more loose. And then I hopefully I can pull it out just easily. I'm not pulling too much just to see if I can get some movement here and I do. So it will be out pretty soon. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just slowly because I don't want to break any roots if I don't have to. Uh, let me see. So yeah, we have some older roots here. And I just take the vellum off. As you can see, that's the only thing that I do. I'm not going to mess with it too much because we have growing tips all the way here already. And there and there. So yeah, just a few older roots is not the end of the world. So, but I would like to get this thing out. This is my water meter. And there we go. This one is actually making quite a lot of new roots, more than I uh, did before. So I think I, I, I will show the spot where I keep grow them these days. In, uh, but I did change it a few weeks back, so uh, it looks like it's, it's better. Slowly trying to get this thing out. Yeah, here we go. There it is. Let me put it there to the side. Yeah. Beautiful roots. So um, I'm going to leave it in here for a second. And there's the tag. So I'm going to get a new pot. I'm not sure which one yet. And I will grab the media. So I will uh, install it here and then we uh, will continue this uh, up potting. Yes. So I have uh, everything ready, I think. I'm going to uh, put this one also in this net pot because it isn't as high. But we do got, get uh, really some width to it, which I like because it's a fairly big plant. And we saw all those new growths on the side, so they can uh, now grow on in this, uh, this pot. And I have this as an outer container <laughs> because I liked it. And what I did like even more is the price. It was uh, fairly cheap in comparison to the ones that I... Uh, uh, use in previous videos. Those are those ALO pots. And uh, one of those pots is the same price as four of these. So I rather have four of these because I need to uh, use quite a, quite a few of them. And it's this uh, bucket type of thing, which I uh, kind of like as well. So therefore I use now uh, these guys. They do the job. So that's perfect. I have this water meter. I reuse it. I did uh, clean it up a little bit. So first I'm going to put it in a layer of the small pumice. And it's very dusty. When it's dry, I will floss it later on. So yeah, I'm sorry I'm blowing a little bit <laughs> because I don't want to breathe in too much of the dust. Uh, here we go. And just leave the rest of the Cintiq. Uh, Cintiq. Ceramas, I'm sorry, because it's. Uh, I don't want to mess with the root system, as with my other orchids. If I don't need to, I don't uh, mess with it. And yeah, it's looking fairly, uh, fairly well. Beautiful roots. So let's put it in. Let's see if I uh, have the right layer. No, I could use a little bit more in there. Oi. And you can wash this small pumice, of course, <laughs> but it does keep uh, giving this dust once it dries up because it's so small. There's always little pieces breaking off this pumice. Therefore, you will keep the dust. At least I have that problem. So I don't uh, bother. I will flush it when I'm done and then the dust will basically will be gone. But yeah, with, uh, with working with it, it's not that nice and I keep like I said, blowing it, the dust away a little bit. But yeah, that's the only uh, point that I don't like about it. For the rest, I really uh, enjoy working with it. Uh, let me check. No, it needs to go higher a little bit. 
otherwise it's too deep in a pot. So, next layer. And again, <laughs> dust gone. I don't want it too lay in the pot, otherwise the, I will bury the new growths with uh, too much of the media. So therefore I keep checking. And now it's okay. It's a little bit lower than the edge of the pot, which is okay. We don't want aerial roots, of course, on our masdevallias. They like to stay moist. And I'm not just now just filling up the rest of the pot, slowly but surely. And she will be good to go for several years. I believe. <laughs> Whoops. A little bit of media on the water meter. It's not beneficial. <laughs> there we go. And yeah. Just a little bit here. I think we are. Almost there. I'm not sure if you see the dust on camera, but I, in the back I have a uh, ventilator, so it helps me. Not that I'm breathing in this, con this constantly, of course, this type of dust, because I don't want to. And actually I'm aller allergic to dust, so... But so far it's going well. I don't have to cough over anything. <laughs> but yeah, you really want to watch it, of course. So here we go, that was that. Now we need a top layer of pebbles. Let's grab the pebbles. Same story, those, those have a little bit of dust on them as well. Especially when they dry out. Or completely dry, I should say. <laughs> Oops. Here we go. And these pebbles are helping me to uh, keep the pot nice, evenly moist, so I don't get these top dry layers. Plus, I like the look of it. So that's why I use the pebbles. Let's put those back. Let's put a lid on this for the dust, and then I'm going to lift it so we can have a bit of better look. And this is how it looks now. Easy peasy. And so much more room to grow. And you can see it's a fairly uh, nice sized orchid already. It's my biggest Mastervalia. And we will see if it decides to uh, bloom on this spike. We have a few older leaves. Once and again I just get them out and that's it. And they, those can be thrown, uh, thrown away of course. Oh yeah, before I forget, this flower, this one does make uh, several uh, blooms on one spike. As you can see, this was, here was once a bloom, and here as the same with this one. So it did make two blooms, maybe it can do more on one spike, I'm not sure. But I didn't even know that there were some Master Valleys that even could do that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's maybe also a good thing if you don't cut your flower spikes too quickly so you can see what they are doing. And normally I, I only cut them when they are uh, starting to get brown. These are still green, so I leave them on. Some, some energy in there. So yeah, why, uh, why waste it? It's, uh, the plants are working hard on making these spikes. So that's why I, uh, I don't take them off too early. I don't see the point. So uh, I'm going to flush it and then I'm going to show you guys where... Um, where these guys live, these Mastervalias, because like I said, I think they are doing better. So uh, let's do that. <laughs> well, I did grow my Mastervalias over here when I started growing them, and they didn't do so well, and I thought maybe they need a bit more light, so I put them inside of the greenhouse. Uh, during a uh, heat wave, a lot of light, so no, not a good idea. So they did start uh, doing even even uh, worse. And then I decided to put them 
uh, down here. It's a little bit cooler than the rest of the uh, arcade room uh, on the shelves. It's a little bit warmer, um, but on the floor it's, uh, it's a little bit cooler. But still, they have a light here and a light there, so they, ha they have quite some light. And I think it was in one of Roger's uh, videos that there was some discussion about the light of the Masdevelias. And that we most of the times do give them not enough light. So I changed that, and especially with that one, because I thought it has that dark leaves. But it keeps on having those dark leaves, it, especially if you compare them with these guys. You can see those are it's a little bit lighter green. Um, but yeah, since I put, did put them here, I did start to have them back in bloom again. This bloom is almost over, but still. This one started to bloom as well. Started secondary blooms on these spikes we just saw, but you can see there is the new one. And it did start making quite some new roots as we saw, because it didn't have a very large root system. But now what I saw was, were way more roots than before, so thereby I think it's doing, uh, doing better in this, uh, this section of the orchid room. As you can see this my Ignea, I almost lost it, because it was not happy at all. But you can see that. I think the leaves are starting to uh, getting a better color again, and hopefully it starts growing. Well, we have a new growth there, so yeah, it will uh, will do better. As you can see, this one some bad leaves, but we have a few better here, I think there. So yeah, not sure. That's an orange one. But the yellow one, we have some older leaves, but still again some better as well. So hopefully they start to do better. But this is at least uh, repotted, a pot that has the room to grow, and still it looks so big in comparison to the rest. <laughs> and I like that bucket type of pot, it, uh, it really looks okay, I think. And like I said, it's way cheaper than, uh, than the other ones that I use. So yeah, I hope yours are, are doing a little bit better than mine, even though I think mine are getting, uh, getting there again. And don't forget, of course, my 1K subscriber uh, celebration. I just uh, upload last Sunday my video where I did uh, 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 talk about the giveaway that's currently still running. So you have until this Friday, uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, my time, to uh, join in if you didn't already have. So uh, I will link that video by now. So you can have a look and uh, if you like, you can join in. And uh, yeah, of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. And if you have any questions, you can leave them below. And if you like, you can give this a uh, thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. And I, uh, like I said, hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.